These are a set of samples that were produced by Rico recently at their Drupa show uh, with the Touch 7 technology. Touch 7 is a Photoshop plugin and the whole focus of it is how to help designers take advantage of what can happen on a press with extended color gamut. What's interesting is Rico doesn't have an extended color gamut press. They have a CMYK press, but their digital toner sets have an extended gamut over offset CMYK. This is the Touch 7 user panel and the fact that it, it says to the designer, do you want to enhance the orange, the green, orange and green, or orange, green, and blue? So in this case, with one mouse click, this separation was done through the Photoshop plugin. What I have next is showing you a series of samples of the results by using Touch 7 off the Ricoh device at Drupa. So again, this is just one mouse click. It automatically creates the separation. Here you see we extended the orange and the green. Beautiful results. Again, this is a CMYK engine. In fact, this is the Ricoh C5 5110, excuse me. Here might be a little tough to see, but you're getting deeper blues and a little bit deeper in the orange here. Christmas time is coming, so you can see what happens here with this separation. Again, one mouse click, just because they asked to do the blue, then it didn't affect the background where only CMYK is used. It's only where you can extend the gamut does Touch 7 work. Beautiful separation here might be a little tough to see, but it increased the orange. But to do that masking manually, that would take hours, if not longer. Um, here, they enhance the tomatoes, the blue basket. You can see the violet increase there, and the green vegetables. Again, one mouse click inside Touch 7 did those three separations. You can see it here in the car, from the orange to more of a red to the deeper purple. Here you have the greens. Again, one mouse click. Look at the, the co increased contrast and color saturation of the green there. And last but not least, here's a great example of when it did the changes in Touch 7, it didn't affect the facial tone. So what's nice is you would have to do a lot of manual masking if you had to do this without Touch 7. But here this took as much time as the computer takes in doing one mouse click, which is probably about six to seven seconds. And since it is Photoshop, you can still edit it, whatever you do or don't like. But look at the change you can get.